What's up, everyone? My name's Brenner. This is Liquor Sippers. This is my friend Josh. How you doing? And this is a 10-year barrel in 2010 Knob Creek. I don't think I'll ever do that again. <laughs> that was a mistake, bro. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> and that's the end of the episode. Shortest episode ever. Yeah. It's good. Just kidding. Stay tuned. We got something good for you. I just spit. A little bit of vodka, a little bit of whiskey, a little bit of info, a little bit tipsy. Liquor sippers. Liquor sippers. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks again for tuning in to Laker Slippers, to Laker Slippers, to whatever you want to call us. Uh, today we're here with my friend Josh. This is his first time on the channel and uh, hey, we're actually going to be doing a taste testing today with uh, since we start off with Knob Creek and I have a stomach ache now and I'll be peeing every three minutes. Uh, we're actually starting out Mr. Josh here with a Knob Creek 12 year. So. Um, I would say that this is one of those uh, bourbons that are, again, one of the middle of the roads. I have not tasted this yet. Obviously, it's not open. So, Josh, a little bit about yourself, maybe? Yeah, sure. I uh, I like whiskey. I don't much have a, uh, a connoisseur's palate or anything, so maybe I can tell the difference between regular Knob Creek and this Knob Creek. Creek. So you take you say said Knob Creek before? Yeah. yeah what did you I say to that? It was here. It was here at this yeah, bar? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was good. Yeah, oh, it was man. good. I don't remember. Uh, I guess it was probably, was, no, this is a cast strength. I think it was probably maybe the, oh, that one now is not it either. That's a single. I, I just got you, that one. That was a new you one. You hooked me up with something good. It was good. Okay, cool, man. Um, well, so today we're just both, we're going to experience, um, as, we're both newbies. I think maybe I'm just a little bit more inclined. I've been doing this a little bit longer than him, uh, a little bit more in depth uh, for that matter. So. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna talk a little bit about Knob Creek, <clears throat> what this particular one is, and where did the Knob Creek name come from? Do you have any idea where it came from? I have no clue. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, so th this is all hearsay. I mean, you don't you don't really know. It, the, the past of, of Knob Creek goes back pretty far. Um, uh, so initially, first of all, this Knob Creek 12 year is was released in a late uh, 2019. I think it was in either late to early November or something like that. So it's still, I would still say relatively new, but it's a little bit more difficult bottle to get your hands on. Um, and now this has kind of become uh, part of their lineup. So they'll be releasing these more and more uh, often, so it won't be quite as rare. Now, Knob Creek is the uh, name that actually came from, who was it, Abraham Lincoln? Um, and it's actually a creek that ran through the farm where he lived, his family's farm, and it was just, you're gonna make me laugh. No, it's okay, <laughs> it's fine, my bad. Is that what, it, I, I think it's something like that, right? Is that something like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. So, so, it's, and it's allegedly. So. I had a question though, does so, that mean it sat in a cask for 12 years? Yeah, yeah, so this is aged for 12 years, um, oh. I don't know. As far as where or how this thing was finished, but um, yes, so this That's is crazy. officially been uh, 12 year aged. Um, this is 100 proof and it is 50% alcohol. And as you can see, it is sealed. Um, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna crack this mother trucker open. And we're gonna say what you smell like. You wanna say what it smells like? Right, right. <laughs> All right, let's say what this smells like. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, chalk this up here. We're gonna grab ourselves a couple glasses and we'll be right back momentarily, but you won't even notice because it's gonna be like this. So we got a glass here and I got my glass. Um, and my dog wanted to come in and take a sip. 
<laughs> so here we go with this Knob Creek. Uh, been interested in this for a little while. I actually just got this from a friend of mine. Um, he told me not to disclose his name because he said people would get really jealous and upset that he was able to give me the bottle and not anybody else. So as we all know, this Knob Creek. Regular one doesn't have that, does it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, it does, yeah. the same thing? Yeah, and it also allows There's you to make the same mess so inside. Oh, okay. A little bar here, so. I'll go ahead and just take this piece off here. Oh, Mother Teresa, let's not make a mess. So first things first, we're gonna do a little pour. We're gonna do about a two ounce pour uh, <laughs> for each of us. He's drinking it with some ice since, uh, you know, he's a little bit newbier than me or newbier than I. Yeah. And I am a little less newbier than oh. him. I'm gonna try to drink this a little bit neat. Couple drops of Great water. <laughs> Couple drops of water in there for me. All right. I hope that this is gonna be as good as they say. So first things first. Knob crack. <laughs> Knob crack. Cheers, brother. Cheers. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We're just gonna start with the nose. So you're gonna slightly tilt, maybe a little. Okay. Bit. These are not the best glasses. We'll get into some glasses later. Um, I have some behind me that I that I absolutely hate. <laughs> I HATE THEM! I feel like from Star Wars, like, Anakin Skywalker, <laughs> I HATE YOU! You're like in the sand. Yeah. Like, ah! yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. so. It's a glass. Man. <laughs> so. Smells like whiskey. So actually, for me, I actually smell uh, some apple in there. It, apple and like, um. If you call it out, I can kind of tell, you know what I mean? You smell a little, like there's a little like bit, hints yeah. of apple, like, yeah, yeah and then uh, it almost reminds yeah. me of an apple 7-Up uh, or apple Sprite. I don't know, man. I I can kind of sort of smell it. Yeah. It's wild. There's definitely some, uh, obviously, you know, just like I said in the last video, it's it's whiskey, so you are you have this barrel, it's going to have a, a oak type smell to it. Can you smell any oak? I know this is all fresh and new to you, so... I don't know. Uh, I think so. I think. Oh, I smell shape shit. <laughs> oh, I smell dung. <laughs> oh, I smell minerals. That's right, minerals and grain. Slight bit of corn. Slight bit of corn, eh? I don't think it's that old, bro. Yes, old. <laughs> 12 years old. Jesus. This is called elderly bourbon. <laughs> oh man, I'm already holding up, dude. <laughs> All right, so let's let's go ahead and let's get to the tasting. I did right. okay, like I said, seven up. Um, I, I I smell a slight fruitiness, obviously with some apple, maybe some yeah. apple cider ish. It smells good. Um, it, smells good. it smells like it's gonna be a little a little spice. There's gonna be some burn on the back end. So let's go ahead oh, and yeah? check this out. Not a lot, right? Smooth, man. Wow, there's a huge difference. So, from the wow, that's really, really good. Yeah, that's really, really good. That tastes like an actual, legitimate bourbon. Yeah. Um, how I always reference to go back to the the yellow rose, um, and how I said it's very entry level. Does it taste good? It's almost sweet. It has um, a very fruity, citrus type taste to it. This one, on the other hand, is very cinnamon. I almost have like a what, butterscotch and caramel. Now that I taste. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell. There's definitely, definitely spice and cinnamon in it. Um, That's wild, man. So maybe try it. Go ahead and just like swish it in your mouth a little bit so okay. you can see. Because the way it coats your tongue, you're going to taste sweetness more towards the tip of your tongue okay. and more towards oh, the yeah. end of your palate there's more spice uh, oh. towards the end so you'll be able to taste maybe a little bit different okay yeah totally i still get i still get that a little bit of burn but it yeah there's it, burn there it definitely reminds me of like there's like a carbonated sprite it's good. Now this, that second sip really just coated my whole palate. <laughs> there was more bitterness on this. 
Is there? Do you, you, but is there any dry? Any dry? On yeah, it? but it's not bad. It's not like a bad bitter ball. So for really for you from the other Knob Creek to this Knob Creek, is there any differentiation between the two? Can oh, yeah. you tell the difference? Way like the only way that I can describe this is that it's smoother. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, like, I it's do. It's got a little bit of bitterness, but not like the original. And it doesn't like burn on the way down, all the way down. You know what? Yeah, I feel like <laughs> actually, um, this is good. Actually, I feel like uh, so yeah, awesome. this this cast strength is almost um, this one's a ten year barrel. Okay, so it's ten years. It's slightly different. I feel like it was a little bit more harsh, like a punch in the teeth, and the burn <laughs> the burn was definitely there. Not too almost like you know you're doing some like Jane Fonda leg raises or something. <laughs> and you're just like oh, oh my god, it, it burns. What was that one dude? Richard name? Simmons. Richard Simmons. Okay, guys, it. we're gonna hit those inner thighs. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it was more. Pals you over the face. <laughs> it, was, it was more burn. This is this is definitely a lot smoother. Oh. Almost like, almost like a little bit of KY in a glass. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know, dude. dude. Almost That's... like a little Astro glass. <laughs> that might be a bad experience. I don't know. No, but seriously, this, this is definitely definitely a lot. Yeah, I would cool. say it's even a little sweeter than the, yeah, uh, than the regular uh, Knob Creek, the original yeah. Knob Creek. For lack of a better term, for me, I mean, like, it's just smooth all the way around. Mind blown, man. It's good. I'm definitely, uh, definitely pleased with this one. That's awesome. <laughs> so they don't sell this everywhere, right? Like, no, no, this one, so, like I said, they're gonna start having this one, uh, it's part of their, like, their lineup. Okay. But it's not, this is... Currently, it is not like something you could just easily get. Oh, like, cool. I had to outsource in order for me to do this. You can't just like go and drive down the specs and it. just be like, oh, yeah. Hey, you got that knob crate 12 years? <laughs> you got that knob? Yeah, you do. Don't, don't, don't be back. Don't be high. You know I'm losing yet. my taste because I want it. As you're ordering the I want that. I want that. Get me the knob crate 12 years. They just fall out before you get it. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got the glass So here. that's how you got it. That's how I got it. That's how I got it. Don't oh. trust those little bitches out there. But you ain't know how I got my ball, do you? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, man, is this a go-to? Absolutely yeah, this would be a go-to. Awesome. When this stuff does hit hit mainstream and people are able to acquire a bottle. I definitely encourage you to get a bottle. Uh, Knob Creek one way or the other, I think I even said it in my last video, you can't go wrong with a Knob Creek. Knob it's Creek good. is definitely um, a middle of the road type whiskey. It's not too harsh, it's not knocking your tonsils out if you still have them, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's giving you a little bit of the sweet, you got the oakiness, a little earthy, got some butterscotch in there. And the, and the smooth that I feel that is necessity in order for the pleasurable sipping process, in order for you to just enjoy drinking, hanging out with your friends, and uh, enjoying that bourbon whiskey that, that us as Americans all tend to enjoy. Um, I, don't, I don't smoke cigars, but my brother does, and he tells me all about it. However, it makes me a little green in the face. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. might need some whiskey to counteract all that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, or maybe you just throw up all over your front yard. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is there anything you have to add? To no, this? man. I'm just along for the ride. This is awesome. It yeah, tastes man. great. I, I absolutely enjoy this. The first Knob Creek was great. This Knob Creek is even better, and it's amazing. Yeah, for absolutely. sure. If there's a way for me to pick it up, I will. It'll be part of my cabinet. Yeah. So yeah, speaking speaking of that, it is sixty dollars. Whenever this thing, if you are able to get it, I even believe you might be able to get it some places online. Um, if you can't get it, it is about 60 bucks, maybe 70 bucks, depending on where you're at, uh, state taxes and, and such, you know, there, there, there's definitely a difference between, you know, what you're going to pay, maybe between five to $10, $10 would be really extreme. But like I said before, I don't want you guys coming up and you going, oh, you said it was $60 and a pay of 90. That's, if you guys got any entertainment, if you got anything out of this, if you enjoyed what you're watching, please like subscribe, multiply and divide. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell everybody, tell your family, tell your associates, <laughs> tell your math teacher. <laughs>
to subscribe. Just request you, maybe they'll go easy on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hey, subscribe to Liquor Sippers. They'll get you drunk and you'll give me a good grade. <laughs> Only if you're in college, kids. Not if you're 15 in high school. Yeah, please. Because that would be illegal. Prohibition style. <laughs> yeah. Almost as old as whiskey. <laughs> no, we're definitely older than that. <laughs> Hello, you're 12. Your balls have dropped. <laughs> So have all the knobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to have a knob creep. You. Knob on the cob? <laughs> you want some knob on the cob? <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to Liquor Sippers. Cheers. We'll catch you next week whenever we do maybe some type of informational one. As always, once a week, taste testing and reviews. Keep sipping. Cheers y'all.